95% of all Christians, unfortunately, have never led a single soul to salvation in Jesus Christ. So I'm saying that they think it's, it's like a club. It's hard. It's like a club. And we got in and don't let anybody else, don't let anybody else in. There's the door. We should be doing everything that we can do to reach the lost to, so that people that are far from God can come back to the arms of the Father. Exactly. So, yeah. And Thank see, you. that's the beauty that I love of that mission statement because it, it, it is on the prodigal son. Uh, and if you don't know, the prodigal son is not just a story about the one that went away. The elder brother that was there represents all those kinds of people within the church that think, oh, well, I've been here. I haven't done anything good. Why are we celebrating the lost kid coming back? Right. You've got such a hard heart when you're under that mentality that you are just as far away from God as the one that ran off on his own is. That is the whole story of the prodigal son. Everybody, we always get wrapped up on the one that went astray and came back that we don't realize Jesus was also speaking to. The elder brother was representing the Pharisee. When are you gonna preach that? I don't know. You need to write that sermon because it burns in you. I can, you, always you're talking about it. And it's I just, I can't stand just, I hate disunity and division and you know like y'all are always like oh don't look at the comments I'm, I'm a glutton for punishment i guess because i always look at the comments i don't know i cannot stand just it is it is amazing to me that we will attack preachers and pastors and oh they're preaching prosperity and look at all the expensive clothes they're wearing but they don't care if they're wearing it they don't care if some celebrity's wearing it it doesn't matter as long as it's not within the church even though it's biblically accurate that those preaching the gospel are supposed to be su supported and blessed by God. And do you really want to go to a church that has a broke pastor? Because what happens to the head flows to the body. So I don't know about you. I don't want to be underneath somebody that's dressed in homeless man rags because I don't want to live like a homeless man. But I just, I can't stand it. It fires <laughs> me up. People attack preachers. It's like a bandwagon.